Hi, I'm Laura Gonzalez, your host for All American Aviation Safety and Passenger Briefing Video. On behalf of the entire All American organization, we'd like to welcome you aboard today's flight. Today you're flying with some of the most professional men and women in the industry. Our mission is to provide you safe, clean, and reliable transportation. Although you may have flown with various companies and many different types of aircraft, all American procedures may be different from those you are accustomed to. So please focus your attention on this important briefing while we discuss the safety aspects of the Sikorsky S-76 helicopter. The S-76 is a twin-engine aircraft flown by two pilots. When loading or unloading from the helicopter, one of the pilots or a ground coordinator will assist you. Never approach the helicopter until you have been told to do so. The main rotor blades on the S-76 drop down low in front, so you must always approach the helicopter directly from the side, never from the front or rear. Never raise anything over your head, and if you are wearing a hat or cap of any kind, remove it and hold it in your hand until you are safely aboard the aircraft. Never chase any item that has been blown by the wind or rotor wash while the rotors are turning. If the aircraft is to be shut down, all occupants should remain inside the aircraft or at a safe distance until the rotors are stopped to ensure safe entry and exit of passengers. On the S-76, there's one main baggage compartment, which is located just behind the rear door. The pilot or ground coordinator will assist loading and unloading of all bags and cargo. Passengers should never go beyond the aft baggage compartment toward the rear of the aircraft due to the extreme hazards of the tail rotor. Prior to boarding, you will be required to put on a personal flotation device or PFD for any overwater flights. This is to be worn until you disembark at your destination. To don the life vest, hold it so that the collar is up. The life vest is worn around the back of your neck by placing your arms through the openings on either side so the single strap runs down your back and the vest resembles a horseshoe around your neck. Slide the small plastic tab into the large plastic receiver to latch the vest and adjust by pulling on the loose ends of the straps. Again, tighten by pulling on the loose end of the strap. In the event of a water landing, exit the aircraft first and then inflate the vest by pulling on the red T-handle on the lower right hand side. The vest can also be inflated by blowing into the red tube at the shoulder level on the left side. Never inflate the PFD inside the aircraft. When departing the aircraft, remove the life vest and clip it through the seat belt of your seat. Your seat belt and shoulder harness should be fastened whenever you take your seat. To latch, slide the metal ends of individual shoulder straps into the buckle. Tighten by pulling on the loose end of the lap belt. To remove the seat belt, a quarter turn of the buckle will release all straps. Remember that your seat belt should be worn low and tight across your lap at all times in the helicopter. Once on board, customers are required to obey posted and lighted information signs to adhere to the crew member instructions. All aircraft operated by All American Aviation are non-smoking. Smoking is prohibited at any time aboard our aircraft, personal transport vehicles, or in aircraft operation areas. You will be provided with hearing protection while on board the aircraft. There are also two headsets available in the passenger seating area to enable communications with the pilot. Through the intercom system, you may receive additional and important information in the event of an emergency. The intercom system may also be utilized to communicate other instructions or information for a safe flight. Remember, the pilot may need you to stop talking while he is talking on the radio, especially during an emergency. Additional safety information can be found on the safety briefing cards, which are located throughout the cabin. Complete passenger briefing following the outline of the passenger briefing card. Please take a moment to re-familiarize yourself with this information at any point throughout the flight. As depicted on the passenger briefing cards in the aircraft, take note of the green shaded area showing the allowable passenger movement area. For your own safety, never move towards the front or rear of the helicopter. There are two handheld fire extinguishers on board the aircraft. One is located under the front seat and the other is located on the center post. If necessary or if directed by a crew member, Release the extinguisher from the bracket by lifting it out of the bracket mounted to the floor. Remove the safety pin, aim the nozzle at the base of the fire and squeeze the handle. Move the extinguisher in a sweeping motion to extinguish any flames. There are four exits on this aircraft. Two swing open crew member doors, one on the left side and one on the right side of the aircraft, 
and two swing open passenger doors, one on the left side and one on the right side. All four doors can be used in the event of an evacuation. In the event of a land evacuation and when instructed to do so by a crew member, open the door by pulling the handle out and push the door outward. In the event of a water evacuation, when instructed to do so by a crew member or if it becomes necessary, all four doors can be jettisoned. Remove the plastic cover and pull the handle out. Push on the corner of the door. It is designed to fall away from the aircraft. In the event of a water landing, the S-76 is equipped with two life rafts located inside the cabin. If instructed to do so by a crew member or if deployment becomes necessary, remove the raft from its stowage location. Using the red lanyard and metal clip, secure the raft to the aircraft and push it out the door. When the raft is clear of the interior, pull the metal ring to inflate the raft. Board the rafts as quickly as possible. Once in the raft, follow the crew member instructions and tether the raft to the aircraft if sea conditions allow. If tethered to the aircraft and the aircraft begins to sink, a hook knife is located in the raft near the tether line if needed to quickly detach from a sinking aircraft. Attempt to remain in the vicinity of the aircraft. On behalf of All American Aviation, thank you for your attention to this passenger briefing. We appreciate your business and look forward to seeing you on future All American flights.